And come to play a part. We are asked to solve this problem. We are to find the missing link. Okay. So first thing that we have to do is we need to label this side of the whole square as S. This is S. And next is we draw a line from this point up to the right, to the edge, the square. And we actually form a right triangle. And also, a line from this four unit length upwards. Then up to the other side of the square. Okay. So next is we continue this segment here. And this side of the square until they intersect and this actually formed a right triangle okay so next is we label this angle as alpha and a complementary angle we call that as beta and since this is a right triangle this portion then this angle should be also alpha in this angle should be also alpha because they are alternate interior angles so they are equal so next is we focus on these two triangles this right triangle here in this right triangle here we notice that one side of their of its of this triangle of this, both of this triangle has a side of the square, the whole side of the square, and, and we call that as S. And also this other right triangle. And if one leg is S, then the other leg should be equal. Then we can call that as Y. And we can call this as y also. Okay, so next is we also notice that this side is also 4. And for that side, and for this side, this side is actually 5. So next is we label the missing length as m. And next is we make a comparison on this. On the sides of the square, we so this length is S actually. This is S and this is S also. Okay. And for the horizontal length, since S is equal to S, and for the horizontal length, we have 3 plus Y plus 4. And for the vertical length we have m plus y plus 5 so we cancel out y and this becomes 7 is equal to m plus 5 and therefore m is equal to 7 minus 5 where m is equal to 2 so the missing length is equal to 2 units and that is our answer okay, so thank you for watching until the end of the video thank you bye